Hi, my name is Sandy Troy and I live in Southwest Florida where we don't get any frost and all my orchids are outside. Today I'm going to share a little bit about how I fertilize my orchids right now. And also you'll see uh, what I do in setting up orchid baskets as well as mounting orchids to trees. I have a lot of orchids mounted to trees. And one way to fertilize them is to use pellets that last six months. So I made little organza bags up of orchid fertilizer. And you can see I um, really like how the green is not real obvious. I was using cheesecloth and it was cumbersome to mix up the little cheesecloth bundles with string. And then they were very obvious, the white bundles would stick out. So I have these little bundles on, there's probably 10 orchids just on this tree. And you can see the little bundles there. Uh, and I'm going to see how they last. But I probably will be able to refill them because I don't think they'll disintegrate and get, get moldy as much as the... Uh, cheesecloth did. The orchid bag uh, that the orchid fertilizer comes in is has a label that you can peel off the back and put on another container. And what I'm really happy about, the bag's double bag. This was the outside bag, there was the removable label, and there's an inside bag. So there's extra security that this isn't going to spill, fall apart in packaging. I was just ple really pleased with the packaging. I've been using this particular orchid fertilizer for a long time. I put it in little sachets uh, and then tie them to my orchid bundles. You can see that from the pictures. I'm storing the fertilizer in airtight containers using uh, recycled uh, coffee mate creamer containers here. The package of fertilizer came with one peel off label. The fertilizer sack, which was three pounds, I divided in half and put half in each container. I only had one label from the manufacturer or the provider, and uh, so I made a photocopy and printed so I'd have two labels. Mm -hmm. I ordered these organza small bags from Amazon. They come in a variety of sizes uh, as well as colors. I purchased a very small size little bag. The organza bag on the left is brand new. It's still green. The organza bags on the right have been out on the orchids in the elements in Florida for over a year and they faded but they're still very sturdy and I refill them and I'm going to reuse them again. My preference for hanging pots, orchid pots, is to use plastic. I think it has great airflow compared to ceramic or terracotta orchid pots. I think these plastic ones have great airflow and the roots won't stay soggy and rot. I use orchid bark in the pots, and orchid bark can fall through the holes. What I like to use to line my pots is either hardware cloth, which is a little more difficult to manipulate, or my preference is to use used plastic mesh fabric screening, like from windows or lanai's. People replace their lanai screening uh, with new plastic screening, and I like to get the remnants and or the old pieces and line my baskets with that. You might see baskets sometimes lined so that the bark doesn't fall out, lined with core or a sphagnum moss. And I don't like to do that because I think the roots stay too wet using those. This is a newer little plastic orchid pot. And again, I have it lined, but this time, instead of hardware cloth, I'm using used, recycled, uh, lanai screening uh, that was someone had that was damaged they replaced the screening and I got their old screening from them so this is used recycled 
uh, lanai screening that I love using better than the hardware cloth that's a little hard to manipulate. And I just cut a piece out, put it inside the basket, and uh, I find for larger baskets I do use my glue gun to hold it in place because it pops out while I'm trying to put the bark in. But I think you get very good air circulation here. I don't like lining baskets with uh, sphagnum moss or uh, 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 core. I like using um, just plain bark. But then I've got to make sure, especially in larger baskets, the holes are bigger and the bark tends to fall out even more. This orchid, uh, Phalanthopsis, is uh, mounted upside down on a pygmy palm and uh, with a little fertilizer bag at top. Here are two orchids in baskets. Uh, one basket's lined with hardware cloth, the other's lined with the plastic mesh that's uh, lanai screening used uh, material. Both have their fertilizer bags. What I do when the uh, baskets get very large, I try to put a smaller amount of fertilizer in two bags and then put two small bags in large uh, orchid baskets. While you're looking at some of my favorite orchids, I'd like to make a comment about liquid fertilizer. When I first started with orchids, I didn't use the time-released granules in a little sack. What I started with was liquid fertilizer, trying to spray them twice a month. And as I added more and more orchids to my trees and baskets on the trees, I found I just did not have time to spray the roots and the leaves as frequently as I liked. So I switched over to the little time-released granular uh, pellets in the little organ uh, organza bags. and However, there's nothing wrong with, in addition to that, using the liquid orchid fertilizer and spraying the leaves and roots once or twice a month or once every other month, whatever you can do. It's not going to hurt to do that. The only time I'm using liquid orchid fertilizer now is when I get a new orchid or I'm refreshing an orchid, taking it off a tree or if it fell off a tree in a storm or if I'm having to redo a basket because there's weeds grew in the uh, orchid root with the orchid bark in it, I'll have to take it apart. And so I'll soak the orchid roots and the orchid leaves in a big bucket of water and mixed into the water, I uh, mix in some liquid orchid fertilizers. It's pretty much how I'm using liquid fertilizer now. Thanks for visiting my YouTube channel today and thanks for watching. I wish you all the very best with your orchids.